Hey racers and welcome to the Amazing Race Home Edition. Today you'll be traveling the world, solving math questions, and learning cool facts along the way. Before I send you on your travels, there's a few things I need to tell you. Number one is you're going to need a pencil and paper. There are 16 questions, so you may want to number your page now. When you're ready, hit the present button at the top right of your screen. This will make sure that you get to hear all the music and see all the videos as you go. Each country has one or two math questions. When you solve them, if you can, have an adult check your answers to make sure you're right before you move on to the next country. Then just click anywhere on your screen to move to the next place. If you're watching this as a video and not as a PowerPoint presentation, you may have to pause and unpause the video as you play. If you're one of the racers from my class, when you're all done your race and you've reached the finish line, make sure you head back to the Google Classroom to this assignment so you can fill out the attached Google Docs with all your answers. That'll let me know how your race went. Good luck racers and I'll see you at the finish line. Oh, I almost forgot. Each country has a roadblock you'll have to complete before you can move on. Don't worry, they won't take you that long. You have landed in Mexico during the Dia de Mortes, the Day of the Dead celebrations. The festival is celebrated to remember loved ones who have died. There's music, dancing, and lots of bright colors. The sugar skulls represent a lost loved one and honors their life. To leave Mexico, draw your best sugar skull. Soccer is the most popular sport in Brazil and a prominent part of its national identity. Brazil has won the FIFA World Cup tournament five times and is the only country to have competed in every World Cup ever held. To leave Brazil, pretend you just scored the winning goal in a big soccer game. What's your celebration? Music in Africa is very important. Songs and music are used in religious ceremonies to pass down stories from generation to generation, as well as to sing and dance to. To leave South Africa, press play on the video and tap along to the South African drumming.
The phrase, walk like an Egyptian, is tied to the 1986 Bengal song. It refers to ancient Egyptian paintings depicting people walking with their arms and hands bent at strange angles. The song is a bit of a silly take on the idea that since the ancient Egyptians created paintings that depicted people walking like this, perhaps they actually walked that way. To leave Egypt, walk from one end of your room to the other like an Egyptian. The evil eye is believed to be a curse that is given by a glare that has negative intentions. Any negative emotion can cause the evil eye curse, such as anger or even jealousy. It is believed that the curse itself causes bad things to happen to the person who has received the curse, such as headaches and even a string of bad luck. The color blue is the color of evil eye protection and the traditional color of good karma. To leave Greece, quick, go find something blue. It could be a sock, a hoodie, a blanket, anything. Just be quick. An Irish jig is done to jig fiddle music. A jig is danced with a lot of hopping, making it into a joyful dance. Jigs are often danced at weddings and other types of celebrations. To leave Ireland, do a jig. Norway is considered a skiing paradise by many, and not just because of the long season or the great snow conditions. Many resorts have ski lifts right on your doorstep, which means that you can ski all the way back to your room after a long day on the slopes. To leave Norway, pretend you're skiing for 20 seconds.
Inhale for five seconds, hold your breath, and then slowly exhale it out. This kind of breathing comes from yoga. Yoga was started over 5,000 years ago in India. Today, yoga is practiced worldwide by millions of people in many forms and variations. To leave India, take a few deep breaths following this flower. Breathe in as it opens and out as it closes. The first hakas were created and performed by different New Zealand tribes as a war dance to scare opponents, boost morale, and give their people courage and strength. Over time, the haka evolved and it came to be used for more than just battles. It became a way for communities to come together and it was a symbol for community and strength. New Zealand sports teams' practice of performing the haka before their international matches has made the haka more widely known around the world. To leave New Zealand, watch these two videos of New Zealand teams performing their hakas. isn't just used for greetings and saying hello in Japan. It is also to show respect, show gratitude, say goodbye, give an apology, ask for a favor, and many more. To leave Japan, go find a person in your house to bow to.
finish line. You've made it back to Nova Scotia and have finished your race around the world. Grab two spoons and play a victory tune. Let your mountains dark and dreary be. When I am far away on the briny ocean coast, will you ever heave a sigh or a 